Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Building a Nation with Team Canada and today we have for you another exciting episode in the North American Gold Cup competition as you can see right here on the right hand side of the screen we have Canada versus Cuba in the quarter finals we're one step away from where we need to get reach the semi-final is what the board wants from us so that's sort of the minimum we need to achieve to make sure, you know, the board doesn't do anything screwy and, uh, you know, knock us out of the, of the job before we get to play in the uh, World Cup. So anyway, we're going to be playing against Cuba, but there are a lot of interesting matchups going on this round. So let's take a look at some of those matchups. We have the big one. The grudge match, USA versus Mexico. The plucky USA B team, the under-23s, have been making a little bit of a run in the Gold Cup. And now they face their rivals in Mexico. We'll see if the youngsters can do better than uh, you know their veteran counterparts against Mexico. We'll see. I mean, they were able to beat us, so they might have a chance against Mexico is what I'm saying. In the other games, we got Haiti versus Honduras. That's an interesting matchup there. Honduras is probably the favorite. Let's take a look at the Hondurans. They're 58th in the world. That's pretty good. Whereas Haiti, I think they're a bit lower than that. They're 91st in the world. So it it's it's a matchup that should go to Honduras, but you never know. Haiti's made it this far. They could they could spring an upset. And finally, you have Jamaica versus Panama, another pretty good matchup. Jamaica is one of those teams that is is growing, is getting better. They have been surprising me for sure in terms of how well they're doing and how highly they are ranked. 22nd in the world. That's outstanding for Jamaica. You know, they're poised to make some kind of run. You know, they qualified for the World Cup, same as we did, so they could make some noise a year from now. We'll see about that. But first, they've got to get by Panama in the Gold Cup, and we have to get by Cuba as well. So let's uh, let's continue on. Let's get to the matchup, and let's uh, take a look at Cuba. Uh, we don't need to know about Portland. Portland is our next game in MLS, but we don't really need to focus on that. Um, Vancouver's playing well. And the USA B team is not. So we've had our first result here in the quarterfinals in Mexico. 3-0 destruction of a shorthanded USA team. Mendez sent off with a red card that's a no good and that uh, basically made the game unwinnable for usa mexico gets out in the 21st minute then the 35th minute then usa gets one back in the 39th and the 45th no those are yellow cards those are not goals what am i talking about I mean, if those were goals, it would have been a heck of a game. <laughs> but uh, it was 2-0 at halftime, and then Mexico put on a third one in the 85th minute to win it. Fine. They dominated, as they probably should. Uh, is this stage seeded? Let's take a look at the tree. So we're on the bottom half of the tree. So that's pretty good. So we don't get, we wouldn't get Mexico until the finals. We do have to go through Jamaica probably if they can beat Panama, but still, we'd rather move on to the finals and play Mexico in the finals than get beat early, like say the quarterfinals. So the fact that we were able to avoid them in the quarterfinals, that's outstanding. So let's get to today's preview versus Cuba. We are heavy, heavy favorites, six to one odds. We come in inconsistent form, three wins and two losses. They're in fair form, two losses, two draws, and only one win in their last five. So let's take a look at Cuba, a little closer look at these fellas. Now they got some issues, they got some problems. Um, namely, they got a lot of scrub players. 
Now, the good thing is their goalkeeper is playing outstanding. He's got a 7.5 rating. Take a look at this guy, Christian Joel, playing currently at Esquion, Spanish second division. So that's not a terrible club to be playing that. And in the Gold Cup qualifying, he's got uh, four appearances, two shutouts. Allowed seven goals, though. Hmm. So he probably they probably got smashed pretty good. Let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the Cuban schedule. Let's see how they got here. First of all, that's not what I wanted. Too far. Too far. Here we go. Schedule. Senior squad. Okay. So in the Gold Cup Group B. Oh yeah, it was the group of draws. No, it wasn't. They were in the group with Mexico. So. They had a 2-0 win versus Dominican Republic. Then draw versus French Guiana. Draw versus Mexico in Gold Cup Group B. And then they reached the quarterfinal. So that's pretty good. I mean, to draw versus Mexico, we can't, we can't take Cuba lightly at all. So we're going to have to uh, do the best we can against these dudes and, uh, you know, not, like, rotate the squad or anything. And good, good news is there's no real reason to rotate the squad um, uh, the games are sufficiently spaced out that we don't need that sort of precaution so Cuba they got some holes in their roster but they're playing particularly well right now is there anybody else we need to look at on their roster Let's take a look at values they got one high value dude O'Neill Hernandez 27 appearances 28 years old, contracted to Norwich. So that's pretty good. Norwich City, where are they currently at? They're in the Skybet Championship. So they're not uh, they're not up to Premier League currently. But, uh, you know, still a pretty good division. A pretty good team to be playing for. And Hernandez is a pretty good player. You know, he's got pace and acceleration. Um, you know, dribbling, crossing. He's a pretty good winger. Now, the good news for us is that he's not like an overwhelming talent. He's a guy we can match up with this guy just fine. However, he is playing very well. You look at his gold cup currently. Four appearances, two goals, two assists, 7.43 rating. So he's at the top of his game right now. And we're going to have to match him. So let's get to our team selection and see which team is going to be matching him. And here we go. We're going with a possession style. It worked very well against Costa Rica. So we're going to continue that game plan into the next round. We made a few changes in the lineup. But for the most part, we're sticking with the same game plan that we had against Costa Rica. And we'll see if that possession style works. And here we go. We got Borjan in goal, of course. Cabra, Romeo, who's played very well, even though... Even though I don't, I don't like these stats. I don't know. Do the stats like reset every third game or something? It's weird. Anyway, Daniel Henry is apparently making his debut. Even though he's got one appearance, six point eight rating. He's one of our veterans. Whatever. And then we've got Tamori on the right hand side. So it's a bit of a revamped defense. We basically put our very best players out there, and we'll see how they go. Um, we're replacing Jaguer who I feel like he's played well, but his stats sort of don't bear that out. He's got a pretty low rating. He's only got like a 6.5 rating. And so we replaced him with Henry. And we'll see if uh, you know putting our most veteran uh, best defender in there can, can help out. And then Tamori on the right-hand side, as I mentioned, I wanted to make that move. Might as well live in the present and make that move now since we don't have to worry about putting him at central defense. Then in the midfield, we got Piet and Arfield. A little bit of change up top. We do have Davies and Chapman in there, but then we got Jonathan Osario out on the right-hand side, and we moved David up top. We're going to have him play a complete forward because he can play that role. So maybe he can do a few different things for us and, and let us get some production from the striker position because we haven't really gotten a ton of production from the striker position 
you know, Cavallini's gotten a couple of goals, but uh, not really scoring with a with a ton of confidence. Jonathan David, on the other hand, one appearance, one goal, 8.3 rating, apparently playing well. Um, so there's Hernandez on the right-hand side. we got to watch for him. Robles playing in the midfield today. Corrales on the left-hand side. Those are really their key players. And, of course, their goalkeeper taking the captain's armband. So let's go get to the dressing room. Oops, I handed that over to the assistant. I'm so used to doing that for Vancouver these days that it's just muscle memory to hand that over to the assistant. All right, set opposition instructions. Where is Hernandez playing on the right-hand side? We'll press him and close him down. So we'll try to you know put as much pressure on him as possible. Don't need to tightly mark their defensive midfielder. Other than that, maybe their striker as well, just to put a little extra pressure on him. Inocente Diaz. Yeah. All right, let's go. I didn't even look at where we're playing today. Back in FedEx Field, I think. Another, is this FedEx Field? I don't know. I forgot to look. Is there a way to see? Is there a way to see? Tactics analysis, updates, Gold Cup. Sure, I can just click out of the game. Who cares about the game? We want to know where this game is being played. Uh, you manage the team fixture you are already attending. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Anyway, let's get back to the match. <laughs> Enough of that nonsense. First highlight of the day. I, I had to check and make sure my microphone was not muted. I don't hear any sounds. I don't know if you hear any sounds, but I'm not hearing any sounds coming from uh, the game. So hopefully this is recording and hopefully the sounds are looking good. This is a very long opening highlight. Our field to Piet. He's got Chapman moving forward. He's got Cabra on the overlap. Cabra's going to win a corner out of it. So we really pushed forward, and Cuba really dropped back. I mean, they have nine men in the box. Here's our field. Sending one in back post. Henry. Joel is there. I mean, that was uh, not an incredibly well timed out play. A little bit long there on the service. But we got our first chance. Did we know it didn't register even as a shot on goal? We are in the whites again. And we're registering 65% of possession. So our possession style is working. Asario can't get it to Chapman. Robles is going to start the counterattack for Cuba. And he loses it to our field. I don't know that they have the quality in the midfield um, to bother us very much. You know, it's not that our midfield is tremendous, but it's good enough. Chapman playing well. Uh, Piet as uh, Le Destructor. And then our field as the veteran. The playmaker. We dropped him back to deep line playmaker just to give Chapman a little bit more space. Chapman has destroyed their turnover to David. Terrible shot there. But we are keeping Cuba penned in. They just don't know what to do with our pressure. Crumbling under the Canadian pressure. They got 33% possession. Uh, we are telling our boys to work it into the box. So that's fine. If we don't get a goal here in the f first 30 minutes... We might let them shoot, you know, uh, take the work the ball off, let Chapman and our field maybe shoot it a couple of times. Can't get the ball to David on the cross. Our field, though, does recover. It's going to restart the offense. Looking around, he's got nobody to get it to. He gets it to Asario, who loses it. Cuba playing good defense right now. They're, they got a counterattack opportunity here. Doesn't look like their uh, striker is very far forward. They might be able to get it to a guy on the far side. I saw I saw a guy on the far side breaking open. And there he is. There's Hernandez. Borgian with the stop. The one guy we don't want to get open is the guy who got open. That was a great pass. But Borgian was equal to the task. Now here's Cuba with the corner. Sends it in. Headed out by Romeo. But Hernandez gathers it in. Osario gets it to Chapman. And there ends the highlight. 
Okay, you know, the where Cuba can be dangerous against us, counterattack and set pieces. And speaking of set pieces, there's our field sending another one in. Joel handles, handles that one easily. And Cuba's going to start again with another highlight. I'm not too worried about them from open play. I mean, look at that. There's that had no hope he bombed it as far as he could but they had nobody heading downfield and now canada starts the attack chapman messing around a little behind the back pass piet our field just sort of matriculating the ball there we go gets it to davies no intercepted romeo on the back line romeo's playing very well he's going to be our new starting defender davies he's got cabra on the overlap Gets it to him, centering pass, Asario, David, I don't know if that was a purpose, is he offside, offside, no, pushed, Asario pushing another player, what, anyway, I couldn't tell if David let that go on purpose, you know, if it was a dummy move, or what, but, I guess he, he should have taken it, apparently, because Asario had to push his guy to get in position, All right, so we're past the 30-minute part. We have gotten a few chances. Here's our field. Header goes out. Piet's going to track it down. Back to our field. Our field's going to send it in again. Davies. Our field again to Asario. Chapman double covered, wins a corner. This is kind of, you know, looking at this game, I kind of wish that we did have Cavallini in at striker because we could probably use a target man. Here's Davies, sends one in back post, Romeo can't get a header on it, David heads it, it's bouncing around, Chapman's going to recover, nope, he loses it, okay, okay, interesting, alright, team instructions, let's stop working the ball, and let's see if we can get a few more shots, we do have 10 shots, 3 on target, which isn't bad for a first half, but I think Cuba's packing it, packing it in so much, Here's Chapman wins it to David. David in front of goal. There it is. There it is. Using some skill, getting by the keeper. That time he didn't he didn't just turn and shoot it into the defender. He was able to take a touch and then score. Chapman, great play, great pass, uh, not a great slide. And there's David. All right. So I guess that substitute paid off, right? We took Cavallini out. Could Cavallini have scored that? Probably. It's not a great defensive play. But, you know, our guy scored. The guy we put in there scored. So that, you know, we'll take credit for it. Our field to Chapman to Asario. There we go. There's the playmakers. Chapman and Asario. We've got our two best playmakers in the game at the same time just for that kind of play. So again, time to take full coaching credit. Deep line playmaker to advanced playmaker to the playmaker on the wing. And we make the play. We, we make the goal. All right. We don't need to see that again or do we? Yeah. Okay. He's onside this time. That's good. And then wide open. All right. Starting to take control. I don't know if telling them to shoot on sight. Ugh. Ugh, Ramos gets one back with a bending free kick. Borgian looked like he was there. He just kind of missed it. Not what we expect out of Borgian. We need him to be perfect, and that was not perfect. I mean, he was there. He was in position. He just sort of misplayed it. So that gives Cuba a little bit of life before halftime. You know, going into half down 2-0 would have been pretty discouraging. But now only one goal away, they they see the light. Cesario, drop it back to Tamori. Our field, Chapman, he's got... Romeo's playing pretty well. He must be playing like a ball-winning ball midfielder type role. Chapman, forward to David. David to Davies. Ugh, come on. He's got Cabra out wide. He gets it to him this time. Cabra tries to play it across. Tamori is there defensively. Okay. Hernandez not looking so good. 
for Cuba, that's no good. Their best player is giving it everything he's got out there. He's only 57% fit. He might not make it through the whole match. Good for us, bad for them. Ramos, Jose Ramos gets one back in the 44th minute after we scored in the 40th and 42nd minute. So it's kind of a boring half until right near the end. Three goals in four minutes. That's pretty good. All right, dressing room. Pep talk. Um, guard against complacency. Let's be assertive. Guard against complacency. Oh, no. Borgen and Tamori are stressed. Don't want that. Um, let's be calm with Borgen. Um, much to come from you. There we go. He's motivated. And Tamori, I guess we'll do the same for him. You weren't bad, but I believe you can still improve. I have faith in you. No. No, he didn't like that at all. He's even more stressed by faith. Faith and fire. Let's go, Tamori. I mean, he is new to the squad. Playing right back for only the second time. But, you know, we do have faith in him. He is, he is an outstanding player for us. He's just young and new. 23 years old. And Jonathan David just scored as we're staring around. Davies on the free kick. Let's see that replay. So we were messing around. I didn't expect to get a goal so early. 47 minutes in. The first highlight. Jonathan. So it's Davies to David. And there he is. Oh, He looked a little offside. That was, that was a weird goal. Looked like it sort of bounced off the post, then bounced off the keeper and went in. But no replay in the Gold Cup, so we get it. There we go, 3-1. You know, I'm not going to say I was worried about it, but getting that goal definitely helps out. Here's a turnover. Chapman wins the header down the line. Nobody there on the attack. Not sure where David is. David is hanging out in the middle of the park. I guess that's where he's supposed to be. Now see what Joel does. What is Joel doing? He is... He is uh, playing with fire there, taunting David, our fastest player. Tamori Arfield, now we're going to, you know, build it up. This is what we've been doing all game. Just pushing Cuba back and back. Chapman to Piet. Piet's probably got, there's Davies. Is he going to take a shot? He is. Osario. Wow, that was a great save. Osario on the rebound. And Joel managed, you know, what's his reflexes? That was a pretty good reflex style save. 14 reflexes. All right, here's Davies again. Free kick, basically the same place. Henry this time on the back post. There we go, starting to dominate the competition. It's kind of what we did to Costa Rica, where, you know, we started slow, just kept possession and possession and possession, and eventually we wore them down. Maybe that's the new style for Team Canada. I don't know. It seems to be working pretty well. Last two games. Davies again with another free kick. Cuba's starting to rack up those fouls. How many fouls do they have? They have exactly eight. That's not too bad. We've seen a lot worse than that in CONCACAF for sure. Uh, we've done a lot worse than that, honestly. Um, let's see. Piet. Is a little tired at 7.2. Ramos sends one off the wall. Canada racing for it, but Padron gets it. And there ends the highlight. All right, so there's no need. We've got, you know, plenty of options on the bench. David Norman has been playing very well. He's been improving quite a bit while playing in Vancouver. You can look at his abilities, his attributes. They're all going up and up and up. So we will put him in for Piet. Uh, and then we can move Osario over for Chapman. And bring in uh, Timoteo. Let him get a little bit of playing time. And I think for our third sub in a few minutes. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Now, I guess we do have to take Chapman out at some point. He's pretty tired, but I just saw Tamori at right back also. You know, he's nervous. He's tired. He's playing well, but we might as well get him out of there. Bring Nana in. We know we can count on the stability of Nana, so we'll bring him in. And then we'll sub out Piet uh, maybe a little bit later. Romeo gets it to Nana. Here we go. Don't mess it up. Good job. Good job, <laughs> Chapman. Chapman ranging out to the wide field for some reason. Drops it, drops it near side to Davies. Davies back across to Chapman. Is he going to get his third goal in three games? No. Cuba makes the save. We get the corner out of it. Here we go. Davies on the corner. Davies has taken a lot of our set pieces. Romeo on the back post. Romeo can't put it in. Another excellent save. We can see why this Cuban goalkeeper has had such good ratings. He's making some spectacular saves. Problem is, he's just getting pummeled from all directions. David's going to chase that one down. And he's going to lose it. Aguirre starts the counterattack. Lopez back to Aguirre. See if Cuba can get something on the run. The thing about the fans is we can't tell whose fans are whose. Everybody's red and white. Cuba needs to add a little bit of blue to their uniform. There's Davies again. Tries a direct free kick that time, but he wins a corner out of it. I think it's 75 minutes maybe we'll make the sub. Here's Davies sending one in. Norman. Wow, another wacky save from Joel. Okay, I mean, he's doing his best back there to keep these balls out of the goal. Keep things looking somewhat respectable. Okay. Um, Chapman at 65%. You know... Um... Oh, we did. We accidentally made that move. We have Chapman out on the right hand side now. We got a Sario playing playmaker. All right, so let's. That makes things easy. Bring in Timoteo for Chapman. I mean, I guess Chapman can play on the right wing. Who knew? Who knew? But we're going to get him out of there. So we've changed out our entire right hand side. Brought in Nana and Timoteo. Timoteo's a good, uh, flexible player. He can play left or right hand side he's more comfortable on the left but he can play out on the right uh, let's take a look at him here see he's got you know he's better at inside forward we could make him advanced playmaker but we already have an advanced playmaker we don't want to confuse things so we'll just keep him at winger it's fine he can gain some experience at winger He's yellow, which, you know, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Yellow experience, in my experience, is good enough. It's Padron. Asario wins it down the middle, but Padron. Oh, a mess up on the backhand side. Diaz is loose. Borgian with the stop, and then the defense just <laughs> collapses on Diaz. That was Romeo letting one slide. Not happy about that. Here's Osario taking a free kick from the left-hand side. Joel with another stop, and then he gets out. Gathers it in before uh, David could pounce on it. So he's probably been their MVP, even though they've let in four goals. Got a 6.4 rating. Ramos is playing best. I mean, he's got... 8.3 and a goal. Figueroa did not play too well. 5.6 rating. So not so good. All right. So we cruise to victory here. 4 to 1. Cabra sends in his last free kick. And that should be the whistle there. Three minutes of stoppage time is up. One less boot downfield, perhaps. Referee checking his watch. There it is. Final whistle. 4 1. Canada over Cuba. Can't tell who's who. We got some gray shirts in the crowd. Not sure who they're rooting for. But there we go. A pretty dominant performance. We may have found a pretty good uh, tactic here. This possession style. Positivity rules the day. So we get 28 shots to 6. 13 on target to 4. That's pretty, I mean, 
as far as Cuba is concer concerned, that's uh, you know pretty good efficiency. Six shots, four on target, one goal. But uh, they just got overwhelmed, honestly. 51% possession is, I guess, pretty good for us. Not great overall, but hey, we'll take it. We will take it. Tamori completed 81% of his passes. Good man. Very pleased with the result and your performance. They picked it up in the second half. They did not take things for granted. And now we'll see who we get next. Can we look at the Gold Cup competitions? Gold Cup. When are the next games being played? Um, tomorrow, the 16th. Panama, Jamaica, Haiti, Honduras. So we're going to pause it here. We'll take a look at those games and see who we get in the next round. So pause. Okay, we're back. We're at today's games. Panama versus Jamaica. Haiti versus Honduras. Let's click the button. See what happens. Gold Cup Canada draws Panama. Outstanding in the semifinals. Take a look at the quarterfinal. That's what I wanted. Treat. So how about that? Panama beats Jamaica in extra time. 2-1. That's an upset. Uh, Haiti and Honduras still have yet to play, but that's the big result we were looking for. We might have smooth sailing until we get to Mexico. Panama does have a full team. No problems there. 76th in the world, so they're not nothing. But they're not Jamaica as well. So it's another competition that we've avoided. Jamaica, I guess if you if you want to say avoid them, that's fine. Uh, they're playing well. So it's not like we want to go out of our way to play them. But I don't think we need to go out of our way to avoid them either. Anyway, we'll talk about this further next episode when we go up against Panama in the semifinals. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.